Welcome folks to this week's edition of White Line Red Wine Fever. We've got James Ardaker here, manager, coach, and everything else of Locomotive Beer Quarter. Another stellar performance. Six goals scored. A masterclass. What do you reckon? Nice to be here, Thanks for the uh, warm welcome. Some might say it was a game of two halves today. And he actually won. I thought um, I thought the lads played really well. Maybe a few decisions didn't go our way, but we just had to roll with it. And I thought we did that really, really well. You were supersonic at times, aren't you? At times we were absolutely supersonic. I uh, um, I put Mikey Strong on the bench today, Tyneside Silver Tongue Cavalier, and I said to him, Mikey, how are you feeling? He goes, I'm, I'm supersonic. And now I know he's going to be at home having a few gin and tonics tonight just to celebrate that. He came on in the second half, put a great performance in. I'd also like to give a little mention to um, our goalkeeper, Joshua Pinder. Josh Pinder, Josh Pinder, JP, Joshy P, as he's also known as as well. And on the weekend, he's known as a keeper. Last weekend, weekend before, uh, we conceded free kick, a couple of free kicks around the edge of the box, and he set up an absolute wonder wall. And solid. It, it, solid, solid wonder wall. He could see. As the um, opponent struck the ball, the ball was saying, how are you going to be the one that saves me? And Josh and Pete were the man to do that. I think, you know, it's, it's easy to say when people come back in the season in the pub and it's all about cigarettes and alcohol, but really it's, uh, you know, it's a good group of great. It is a good group, yeah. Um, and we have got the lads on the top diet, like you said, you know, they are on cigarettes and alcohol. But the other thing as well that's really, really important is none of the lads are married with children, so they can actually really, really concentrate on their football. I said to him today, just go out and um, you know, let it be, yeah. get amongst it. Yeah. And I thought I did think that the opposition today were half the world away. No, oh, they weren't. Mate. They weren't. At times, the gap between the two lines was like an oasis in the middle. It, it was. It was. Uh, but I think what we did really, really well today was stuck to the master plan. Yeah. Well done. Back to the studio. <laughs> Your silk. That's the ticket. How's the body shot? Difficult today? Yeah. Shouldn't be. Do we make, make, make it difficult for ourselves? Uh, I don't think we made it difficult. I thought the defence had a contributing factor to a lot of the, the goals today. Uh, I thought this, we started it out from the back pretty well. But definitely after 70 minutes, there were a few tender bodies at the back there. You know, it's, uh, I was pretty much playing left back covering Matt, Matt Ryan and I wanted to get forward as much as I can and help the team out. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a sore finish to the game. and. Maybe four, I probably gave away a bit of a dubious foul towards the end, but the referee didn't see it, so that's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go away with that three weeks ago, didn't we? Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't even stand a bar together. <laughs> mm. Vodka and orange. We drink of the people. What about. Uh, you know, a couple of good performances today. We've got the man of the match coming up next. Yep. Matt Wilson. Yep. I thought, uh, to be honest, Matt Wilson's been up there for man of the match since he's, since he's joined the club. 
He's been a real rock and roll star since he's come in, banging in the goals, you know. It just uh, it just strums the ball around like a like a nice E chord or something like that, you know. It's just a I don't know what this is, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's uh, been a real ad addition to the team, so I think he's uh, yes. he earned it today. If he hadn't got it today, then I think we'd have had to uh, probably wouldn't come no, back. No, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. It was like well, back, back to Cal Stewart. Cal Cal yes, <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, it was uh, it was a good performance. I don't think it was our best performance, but six one. Should have been 6 0. Nice. But uh, the vodka oranges taste a little bit sweeter, just for that. So. Back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with Loco's man of the match. Matty Wilson, well deserved. Probably could have won it the last two weeks. Six goals in three games. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good start. It's, it's, well, a goal scorer for me is really like riding a tricycle, but it's uh, too difficult. Um, but another threesome of goals today. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Yeah. And uh, no partners left out, everybody uh, felt like they got their just deserves. Yeah, well I mean, until until I put the third in, I thought we were shooting the goals around quite nicely today. Yeah, Dara got in there with a, with a lovely strike. Um, Shawnee as well, off, uh, off, I don't even know whose hit it was for the assist, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so it was another good performance. Yeah, probably not, not as good as last week, uh, or the week before, but you know, such one, you know, that's fine. Well, as we're morning about that goal we conceded, what were you doing that? Yeah, well, that's Greg's fault. Um, but, you know, one, one goal conceded after three to Cess, that's not a bad start. So, um, little mistake, but we kept the heads up, that one all, and uh, we, keep, we keep going. Well done, Matty. The Ryan Electrical, the man of the match. Back to the studio. <laughs>